Welcome back to the Medigap Show. I am your host, Holly Cohen, and founder of MediGapCares.org. Today, we're going to dive into a very, very important topic. For those of you who are turning 65 or starting Medicare Part B for the first time, before we get started, don't forget you can book a free consultation with either myself or a member of my team. We're here to help you navigate the complex world of Medicare. So you've reached age 65, that milestone, or just starting Medicare Part B for the very first time. Well, it's time to talk about your personal open enrollment period. So during this period, you have a unique opportunity to enroll in a Medigap, also called a Medicare supplement plan. There are no health questions during this period. This is the six months prior to you taking your Part B for the first time and also includes the five months after Medicare Part B effective date. And you're allowed to enroll at that time period without any health underwriting questions. With a Medigap plan, you do get to choose any doctor, any hospital that will accept your red, white, and blue Medicare card. So there are no network restrictions when you're in a Medigap, also called a Medicare supplement plan. It does give you peace of mind knowing how much your bills are going to be. So let's take a closer look at the benefits of Medigap plans. If you were born prior to 19, 55, you're eligible for Plan F. It does pay the $226 annual deductible of Medicare Part B. If you were born prior to 1955 or even after 1955, but are turning age 65, you are eligible for Plan G in most states. So Plan G pays the 20% after Medic original Medicare pays the first 80%, and you're only responsible for that $226 once per year annual deductible of Medicare Part B. So for example, let's say you need to undergo a medical procedure that original Medicare will cover at 80%. Without a Medigap plan, you would be responsible for that 20%. However, with a Medigap plan, it helps cover that 20%, so you don't have to pay it out of pocket. It's like having a safety net for your healthcare expenses. So let's quickly talk about Medicare Advantage, also known as Part C. It's the alternative to original Medicare. It's offered by private insurance companies and you do have to stay within their network. We'll have a large max out of pocket on Medicare Advantage and as I just mentioned, network restrictions. So what if you choose a Medicare Advantage plan when you first begin Part B and realize it's not for you? Medicare does give you a one year trial right period where you can disenroll from the Medicare Advantage plan within that first year of enrolling in the Medicare Advantage plan. You will be allowed to revert back to original Medicare Part A and Part B, your red, white, and blue card, and enroll in a Medigap plan, such as a Plan G, without those medical underwriting questions. So first and foremost, mark your calendar, make sure you're aware of your personal enrollment period, which is the six months before and the five months after taking your Part B for the first time. That's when you're allowed to enroll in a Medigap, also called Medicare Supplement Plan, without those health underwriting questions. After that time period, you will have to go through approximately 26 to 30 health questions and be approved or declined by an insurance company to get the Medigap plan. So again, with Medigap plans, you have the freedom to choose any doctor, any hospital that accepts Medicare patients and will take your red, white, and blue card. And you don't have to worry about seeing specific doctors or specialists, and you don't have to worry about the expenses because your expenses are fixed. So before we wrap up, I just want to share some enrollment tips and final thoughts. Make sure you do mark your calendar for your personal enrollment period. Again, those six months prior and the five months after your Part B effective date, where there are no health underwriting questions. We only get this one time in our lives that there's that free period where there are no health underwriting questions. So lastly, don't hesitate to seek expert guidance, such as our team here at MediGapCares.org, so that you know exactly what you're doing when you're starting on to Medicare. It is a crucial decision. It's not one to be taken lightly, and you do need a professional to help you. Anyway, I hope that helps. And if you need anything or if you have any questions, please feel free to ask or comment down below. I'm happy to help help and answer anything or give us a call directly. Be well. Does Medicare Advantage mean that you're losing Medicare? So the short answer to that is yes.